Hello and welcome! It's another product review. It's another power station. But one very different to the ones I've done in the past, so bear with me on this one, yeah? Um, not sure how the end of this video is going to go, but I'm going to try and remain positive about the product to start with. Okay, so stay tuned. Here is what this company has sent me. It's a box. It's not actually the box you get the thing in, I don't think. They've just sent it in this box as a demonstration, I think. Um, they have sent... It is from a company called Nightscore. Cool name. Nightcore, sorry. And it is an SES 300. You can see the back there. And here is the front. Right, so we're going to go into detail in a moment. They've also sent a power lead for it. They've also sent a 12 volt charger for it. And they have also sent, which I'm not sure why yet, two 10 meter extension cables for solar panels. Right, on top of that, they have also sent something which looks professional. This wonderful solar panel in fantastic packaging. Nightscore 100 watt foldable solar panel. And it's very small. So I'm looking forward to looking at that for you. So this is the product. As I say, I'm going to remain positive, certainly to start with. Uh, one reason I'm going to be positive about this is its size. This is the smallest one I've ever received and the smaller the better as far as I'm concerned. I'm just Now this company did specifically say to me do not compare it to another company's. So I'm just going to compare it to another company's, just give me a second. Let's just compare it to this one. Now I'm only doing this for a positive reason, I'm not putting the thing down. This is to show you the difference. Now this one here is by a different company and it is a 300 watt um, generator, uh, 300 watt power station. This is a 200 watt power station, okay? Look at the size difference. It's a tiny little thing. For, to say it's only like, what, 33% smaller uh, battery, it's more than 33% smaller in size. So size-wise, I think it is fantastic compared to that 300. So this is the smallest I've ever been sent, a 200 watt one. So that's the last time I'm going to compare it to anything, don't worry, night's, night car. Um, let's get on to the product, the little baby. Now the other one I have next to my bed. Uh, this one is even smaller, that's perfect for next to my bed. The weight of this little baby is 3.6 kilograms. That's nothing. It's nothing. So you could, I don't care what anyone says, you could put that in a backpack and carry it wherever you wanted. Along with a solar panel if you wanted to. Wonder how much that weighs. I'd say a very similar weight. But yeah, the most compact, smallest one I've ever used. So it's 200 watt um, output with a, I think it's got a 400 watt surge. And I only found out what this was yesterday. It's when, you know how you plug some things in and it needs a lot of power just to get it going and then it goes down to 200. So it, it might take 400 to get it going and then it sinks down to 200. Like certain re refrigerators and things. Um, this would do that. So it's 200 watt. So the first thing we really like about this, it is just a general plastic outer all around. But it's got nice little rubber feet. So it's going to protect your floor, it's not going to damage anything, I like that. I can imagine these sharp edges might hurt your legs if you bang it into yourself or walk past it. Um, and a rubber handle as well, so yeah, it's not too bad. It looks nice, I'm not going to knock its look. So let's take a look at the front of this, show you what the various buttons are. You've got your on off button here, off, on, makes a lovely little beep. And it's got the tiniest little display now. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. But right at the top there, it's actually got the percentage. It's at 75%. Now, for some reason, they've shown it on a bar over five bars. It's showing four bars at the moment, which would make you think it's 80%. But then above, it says 75%. So it does give you both options. 
a quick look so you've got a rough idea and then if you want to look very closely at the top you can tell exactly how much battery is left. It's got an input and an output so you know how much is coming in and how much is going out which some of the others don't, the bigger ones. So that's good. You have got USB. What do you do with that then? Ah, there you go. Just click that once, goes green. Can use any 5 volt, 2.4 amp sockets there. And then at the bottom, I only found this out yesterday, uh, PD is a uh, type C. You know, why don't they just call, call them all type C or all PD? Anyway, PD 60 watts for your new type US, uh, U type C connectors which like a lot of the modern phones have got now um, and then you've got DC on to use the 12 volt at that side and you've got AC on to use the AC plug socket so if you want to charge this it's got one input there you can stick in your 12 volt straight into a car charger to charge this baby up you can stick a straightforward power lead in there to charge things up or I am guessing the solar panel will go in there as well but I haven't opened the solar panel yet so you're going to have to bear with me unlike other ones which I've had this is the first one I've ever had which has a fan at each side which is interesting uh, one thing I do like to test is how noisy they're going to be. So I'm going to plug this in now and try and get the fans going so we can see how loud it is. I've just plugged this into a bigger power bank now. As you can see, it's going up in single figures. 44, 45, 46. But I'm looking at the other machine and it's saying it's up to 81 going out. So it's obviously, I don't know, I don't know why it just doesn't go straight up to 81. But we're not complaining, as long as we know it's stopped at 53 again, you see. That's unusual. So the input on this is only 53 watts. Normally, I'm sure they're like 90 watts, these things. That did confuse me a little bit, but hey, at least it's working. It does the job. Um, it is charging my laptop now, which is 28 watts going out. That's fine. That's doing its job. And I did notice when the fan did come on, it is very, very quiet. It's the quietest uh, power station I've used. You can hardly hear it. It just looked like a little whirring. In fact, most laptops make no more noise than that did. Very, very quiet. Don't like the fact that the handle doesn't fall down. You know, I, I don't know why they have to stick up and be permanently up like that. It's nice to have a flat top, but hey. I'm just reading a few of the specs for you, so you get an idea how much power you can get out of this. So at maximum power, which is 200 watts, um, for example, if you put this into a 200 watt desktop computer, you will only get one hour of use out of it. But, I'll be honest with you, the amount of times you use things which are 200 watts for something like this, you just wouldn't. Um, take an iPhone 12, 20 charges of an iPhone 12. That's good. Um, a 12 volt LED light, 55 hours. That's good. You know, it depends what you're plugging into this thing. You can do a MacBook Pro 16, um, 16 inch, three charges. That's good. You know, you'd get through a weekend if you charge this and you wanted to take, go out off grid for a weekend and you wanted to take your laptop, it'd charge it three times. That's all you need, isn't it? That'll do you for the weekend. So, yeah, not too bad. You know, 200 watts isn't a lot, but you can store this anywhere. So much easier to store than some of the big ones. Uh, the company don't want me to compare this to any other, um, any of the other power banks available. Um, but I'm going to do anyway. You know, try storing this. It's not easy. It's big. Look, the difference is incredible. So, yeah, I like its compactness. Which brings me on to, I suppose I should tell you the exact measurements. It's that small. It's worth boasting about 8.94 inches by 8.31 inches 
by 5.8 inches. It's tiny. How long does this thing take to charge up? Well, if you use your mains adapter, your main plug sockets, it's going to take you a minimum of six and a half hours. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Um, and a car charger, if you did it through your car, again, six and a half hours. Or if you did it through a 100 watt solar panel in full sun, it could be done as quickly as three and a half hours. It is pure sine wave, which makes it safe for all your appliances which you plug into it. And it's got 32 little batteries in here, if you've ever wanted to know how these are set up. 32 tiny little batteries. But with this one, um, they do leave a tiny little gap in between each battery so that the air flows through and it makes it a little bit safer. So they have gone to a bit of trouble to make this a safe product. How am I doing? Am I doing alright? This bit's completely over my head but I thought I'd throw it in there because it sounds cool. The BMS, the battery management system, it's got a battery management system, right? It's designed to dynamically manage and monitor each cell 100 times per second. Doesn't that sound cool? So, you know, it prevents it from overcharging or over discharging. So someone inside this box is very, very busy. 100 times a second, they're checking each individual cell. I wouldn't want that job, would you? I'm still reading various stuff on my laptop all about it and they seem to be going on and on and on and on and on about safety. It might not look much, but I've never had any of the other companies say how safe there is compared to this. This is fireproof, I'm sure. Fireproof shell, ABS fireproof shell. Cooling fans on both sides to enable quick heat dispersion. Uh, what was the other one? I'm going to have to go on, back on it. Short circuit protection, overcurrent protection, overcharge protection, thermal protection, over discharge protection, over voltage protection. This is protected against anything. You probably can't even get pregnant if you've got one of these. This protects everything. So let's just throw this to one side for a minute with its leads and move on to the solar panel. Let's get this out, see what this is like. It's very nice packaging, this one, unlike that. Um, let's get in here. Okay, here we go. It's nice, it looks nice, if it does the job. Yep, yeah, liking that. Now, it's tiny. You could put this in a backpack, no problem. Whereas some of the others we've had, they are big. They only fold out once, and they're big. But, you know. Okay, it's getting big. Whoa! Okay, here we go. So it's that big. Can you see me? Um, I like the size it folds into. I don't know if I like the fact it's eight different panels. Wouldn't that reduce the power? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know much about them. But uh, if it gives you 100 watts, hey, I'm happy. And I think it said it'll charge the charger um, in three and a half hours in full sun. That's good. That's very good. Let's just have a look in the pocket, because some of these things have little extras in the pockets. And stickers sometimes, if you're lucky. Um, instructions. Lots of little ties. Can you see them? Little Velcro ties. Might come in handy, I suppose. And this is un <laughs> this is weird because I've unfolded it. It's actually trying to charge at the moment because in here I'm going to have to lift you up, aren't I? In here is a little light on. Can you see the light on there? Red lights on. Now the beauty about this is you've got two USBs and a Type C in there. The most I've ever seen on one of these things is one USB and one Type C. So that's good. That's very good. And it does plug into the input. The same place on here. Very good, very good. I wonder how much this weighs. We need to know the weight of the actual solar panel, don't we? 2.1 kilograms. Not bad at all, not bad at all. The one thing I will say about it, good luck trying to fold it back up. It's not the, no, I've done that wrong. Yeah, there must be a knack to folding it back up and I can't do it at the moment, so I'll have to throw that to one side for a second. 
So, let's just uh, do a summary of this, and this is where we get serious. It's good and it's bad. So let's just run over the positives again. Number one, it's very, very light. Number two, it's very, very small. Number three, it's very, very safe. Right? We like all that about it. Very good. Um, solar panel, again, folds up very small. Not sure about how to fold it back up again, so that's a negative. Um, overall, a good product. Yeah, I'm happy with it. You know, it looks a bit cheap. The plug socket itself, when I put a plug in there, it felt a bit cheap, you know. But it's going to do the job. If the price is right, and this is where we're getting on to a bit of a problem. I got this sent to me directly from China, right? I've been on the website, Nightcore's website, um, and they actually ship you these from Singapore, I believe. Now, if you order this, it will cost you... It doesn't even tell you in English pounds how much this is going to cost you on their website. And it's the only place I could find to actually buy it on their website. So in Singapore dollars, it would cost you 599 Singapore dollars, which I translated into 318 pounds. Now, for a 200 watt one, I think that's quite expensive. Should be no more than 250, really. So I thought it was quite steep. Um, and then the big bad part about it is then they ask you for your address if you're ordering one. Uh, and add shipping. Shipping, 72, point, 72 Singapore dollars and 74 Singapore cents. <laughs> Which comes to £38.63. So you're actually paying £356.74 for one of these delivered from Singapore. Um, which is too much money, in my opinion. Solar panel. Try order a solar panel from the same company. Not available in the UK, in your part of the world. What? So why have you sent me one to review if the people who are watching my videos can't order one? Thought that very strange. It's all right if you're in America or Canada or other places, you can get them, but not in the UK. So I did a bit of research. Um, you can get them in America for £250, $350 in America, you can get them. In the UK, I did find a couple of companies who did them. Bang Good. I thought that were a good name for a website. They're selling them on Bang Good. Sorry, this is not this. This is the solar panel. They're selling a the solar panel on Bang Good for £292, but they do ship them from China. So I kept looking. Knives and Tools, another UK website, they're selling it for £347. This is just for the solar panel people. Prime Tech are selling it at £249. So, if you wanted this and that, you can't get them both from the same company, not directly from the company. You'd have to get this directly from the company and pay £356, and then you'd have to get the solar panel for £249 from Prime Tech. So, too much money. Too much money. So, a bit of advice. I'm not knocking the product. Uh, I'll tell the company now. I find the product pretty good. Okay? Just too expensive. What you need to do is start selling this on Amazon. Sell it on Amazon. Available in Europe, in the UK. And get the price down. Because it's too much. And we're not... No one's going to pay £38 to have this posted to them from Amazon. Uh, from Singapore. So good luck with that one. So if you wanted the solar panel and that, let's work that one out. Three, four, five, six hundred and five pounds. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So night car, keep working on it. You know, you've, you've made a good start here. You've got the size. I like the size. You've got the safety. I like the safety. Um, but you need to work on your pricing and your availability and get these on Amazon worldwide. So that's another product review on another solar charger, solar power bank, another power bank. Oh, I'm losing it. I really am. Next product review might be something pretty cool. Going completely off topic. Um, it's been tested. Mazzy loves it. Uh, catch us for that one maybe tomorrow. You all have a wonderful evening and we'll catch you next time here on Travel Trolls TV. Good night.